Hey everybody, Notorious here. Today I've got a special video where I'll be going over and reviewing all of these hitch cords. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. The first hitch cord that we have is the Epic Cord 9.3 millimeter by Twittenberger. This hitch has a tight cover of polyester and Technora which gives it considerable heat resistance. The core is made from a blend of Technora and Dyneema braided in a special balance which allows hitches to release easily. It has a minimum braking strength of 7,700 pounds. This is my second favorite hitch cord of all time. Um, the Epic cord has really good hand which basically means that it's supple and you can easily tie hitches and knots with it. It has always been a reliable choice for climbing for me. Because of its unique diameter, it represents a happy medium between an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter hitch cord, which is perfect for ropes in the 11 to 13 millimeter range. Our second hitch cord is the Veritas 8mm by Yale Cordage and distributed by Tree Stuff. This is an upcycled premium hitch cord which has a polyester core and a cover made of Technora and colored shorts of 5,000 denier polyester. The shorts they describe are these um, flecks of color here. The cordage uses or upcycles materials that would have previously been sent off to be recycled, providing a net benefit to the environment. Because of this, the colors of Veritas are constantly changing. It has a minimum braking strength of 4,050 pounds when pulled vertically. Obviously it's intended for use in basket configuration, so that number um, would be doubled. This is another one of my favorite hitch cords. I love how it looks and it feels amazing. It has great hand and knotability and it performs beautifully. It is a reliable hitch cord and I use it frequently. Here we have the Beeline 8mm by Yale Cordage. This hitch cord has a Vectran core and a 75% Technora and 25% polyester cover. It has a minimum braking strength of 8,000 pounds. In my opinion, this is another great choice for a hitch cord and it works especially well on 10 millimeter ropes. However, it even works well on my 11.8 millimeter rope. This hitch cord is versatile, it is supple, and it has great hand and knotability, and it feels good to the touch. Also, because of its earth tone color scheme, it takes quite a bit of use before the dirt really starts to show. Next is the Epicord 8mm by Teufelberger. This hitch has a tight cover of polyester and Technora, which gives it considerable heat resistance. The core is made from a blend of Technora and Dyneema braided in a special balance which allows hitches to release easily. It has a minimum braking strength of 5,400 pounds. Unlike the 9.3 Epic cord, I do not particularly care for the 8mm. Its cover is woven much too tightly which makes it very hard to tie hitches with. In other words, it has bad hand and poor knotability. I would not recommend this hitch cord to anyone unless they prefer firmer hitch cords. I'm sure once it's heavily broken in it would work beautifully, but I'd rather my hitch cord meet my preferences out of the box. Here we have the 10mm version of the Veritas by Yale Cordage and distributed by Tree Stuff. Again, this is an upcycled premium hitch cord which has polyester core and a cover made of Technora and colored shorts of 5,000 denier polyester. So it recycles 
materials that would have been previously sent off to be recycled, or upcycles rather, providing a net benefit to the environment. The 10 millimeter version has a minimum braking strength of 5,220 pounds when pulled vertically. Again, it's used for basket configuration, so that number is okay. This hitch cord, in my opinion, is excellent. It looks great and it feels amazing, and it is very easy to tie hitches with. It has great hand and excellent knotability. It performs well on a rope, and I would definitely recommend it. Next is the HRC 8mm by Teufel Burger. This hitch cord has a Nomex and Technora cover with a Vectran core. It has especially good heat resistance and is popular among pre professional arborists. It has a minimum braking strength of 7,250 pounds. This hitch cord looks and feels great. It has, an, it has average knotability and overall good hand but not as good as some of the others mentioned so far. However, I still love using this hitch cord. It has a fuzzy texture on the cover, which helps it grab onto the rope with ease, and it doesn't take long for it to break in and become more supple. Here is the Epicord 10mm by Teufelberger. This hitch has a tight cover of polyester and Technora, which gives it considerable heat resistance. The core is made from a blend of Technora and Dyneema, braided in a special balance which allows hitches to release easily. It has a minimum braking strength of 9,700 pounds. In my opinion, the diameter of Epic of this diameter of Epicord has all of the great qualities that the 9.3 diameter has, such as excellent hand and knotability, making it super easy to tie hitches with. It is not it is only the 8mm Epicord that I do not like. The 10mm Epicord has a really cool green color to it and it performs well on a rope. This is the Flex 10mm by Sterling. It is made with a Technora and polyester cover which provides abrasion resistance with enough bite to firmly grip the rope. It has a core made of water resistant polyester fibers and it has a minimum breaking strength of 8,767 pounds. In my opinion, this is an average hitch cord that gets the job done. I like how it looks and it has decent hand and knotability. Here we have the RIT Response by Sterling. This is a fire resistant, flexible hitch cord designed to be easy to tie hitches with. It has a cover made out of Tweron and a core made from polyester. It is high visibility and made to be easy to use with gloves on. It has a minimum breaking strength of 6,969 pounds. This is easily my favorite hitch cord. It has kern mantle construction and it is braided in a way so that it is very flat, which increases its surface contact when wrapped around a rope. The colors and pattern are great and it feels good to the touch. It also has excellent hand and excellent knotability. Finally, its 9mm diameter makes it ideal for ropes in the 11 to 13mm range although it will work great with any 10 millimeter ropes as well. I highly recommend this hitch cord. Here we have a nameless hitch cord made by GM Climbing in eight millimeter. This is a very affordable hitch cord with a 50% Kevlar and a 50% polyester sheath with a polyester core. It has a minimum breaking strength of 6,500 pounds. These are useful and low budget. I don't particularly care for the long stitching used to form the eyes, and these do not have particularly good hand or knotability. However, I do often use them. You can buy three of these for $30 on Amazon. 
Up next is the Bailout XL 9mm by Samson Ropes. This larger version of the Bailout is 9mm, making it excellent for a wide range of climbing lines from 11 to 13mm. Bailout XL is a double braid prusik with Technora cover over Technora core for the ultimate in heat resistance. Bailout XL won't melt or flatten out and it holds knots with reliable performance. It has a minimum braking strength of 5,300 pounds. Personally, I really like this hitch cord. It has a tightly woven cover which makes it hand and knotability not as good as some of the others I've discussed so far but it ties hitches really nicely and it probably cannot be beat when it comes to heat resistance since it's entirely Technora. Finally, I love that it's a 9mm cord for all the same rope excuse me, compatibility reasons I have already mentioned. This hitch cord feels indestructible as well and it always maintains its roundness. Here we have a Samson Ropes 8mm hitch cord. It is entirely made out of polyester and therefore it has no heat resistance. I only use it for purposes where it wouldn't experience a lot of friction. It is strong and reliable with average hand and knotability. It is also easy to splice. This hitch cord is made by New England Rope and it is 8mm. It is entirely polyester and they only use it for grabbing and holding, not for any purposes which involve a lot of friction. One way that I use this type of hitch cord is for progress capture on a pulley system. It has excellent hand and knotability. Here we have the B-Line 10mm by Yale Cordage. This hitch cord has a core made out of Vectran and a cover that is 75% Technora and 25% polyester. It is extremely heat resistant and I personally like it a lot. I used it to create a split tail with a sewn eye and so far it's been working beautifully. It has excellent hand and knotability and I would recommend it to anyone. Finally, we have the RIT 8mm by Sterling. This hitch cord should not be confused with the RIT response which I brought up earlier, which is a 9mm and of different construction. This hitch cord has average hand and knotability, but great resistance to friction. I was unable to find specifics as to what it is made out of. However, I would imagine it's probably similar to what the RIT response is made out of. Here we have the Ocean by Teufelberger at 8mm. This popular hitch cord has a cover that is 50% Kevlar and 50% polyester and it has a polyester core. The Kevlar fibers offer a great amount of heat resistance and this cord maintains its round body very well offering good grip and it is ideal for ropes in the 10 to 11mm range. It has a vertical MBS or minimum braking strength of 4,950 pounds. This, in my opinion, has been for a long time a very popular hitch cord among arborists. Um, I think you really can't go wrong with this choice. It, its suppleness and its um, its hand is probably average, but it just something about it, it just 
works really well. I think because of the texture on the sheath, it grips really well. So that's something to take into account. Here we have the Armor Press by Donahue's at 8mm. This hitch cord blends Spectra and Kevlar fibers in the core for excellent strength. And it protects those fibers with a cover containing Technora fibers, which are heat resistant up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Armor Press in this size will work best on 10 to 11 millimeter climb lines and grips well on a variety of ropes thanks to its fuzzy texture. This cord has a vertical MBS of 8,460 pounds. My opinion of this hitch cord is that it's really great, it's really supple, it has a nice um, reflective sheath, so it's very uh, high vis. Um, high visibility and I just like it a lot um, it's not as supple as some of the others like the beeline or the 9.3 millimeter uh, epicord or like that but it is very close um, it's one of those hitch cords that you have to break in to really enjoy it and so, yeah, I think it's great. Here we have another Ocean by Teufelberger at 10 millimeters this time. This popular hitch cord has a cover that is 50% Kevlar and 50% polyester, and it has a polyester core. Uh, I believe this line of hitch cords was originally designed for nautical use which is why it's called the Ocean, um, but it has been since adapted to use with, you know, tree climbers and arborists around the world. Um, this hitch cord maintains its round body very well, and it has a vertical minimum braking strength of 7,425 pounds. Finally, and lastly, we have the Armor Press by Donahue's at 10 millimeter. Again, this hitch cord blends Spectra and Kevlar fibers into the core for excellent strength and protects those fibers with a cover containing Technora, which is heat resistant up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, Armor Press in this size will work with 12 to 13, 12 to 13 millimeter climb lines and grips well on a variety of ropes thanks to its fuzzy texture. This version of the Armor Press has a minimum braking strength of 9,460 pounds. My first impression of this hitch cord is that love the sheath again, you know, the um, it's very, the colors are bright and they re really make for a high visibility environment which is always preferable when you're working with um, saws and anything sharp really. So um, also it's really, it's got a great strength. It, it balances suppleness with strength. So I mean, this is a really strong hitch cord and it's also managed to somehow be very supple, which is um, a difficult thing to do sometimes. So that is the final hitch cord. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll give you a look at my uh, production table here where I do all sorts of whatnot with my hitch cords and with whippings and whatnot like that. So. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Notorious out.